CVS, but we've learned there may be some issues with the program, including a requirement that would make the partnership practically useless to Hawaii residents. Sam Spangler explains in a story new at 10. The pharmacy CVS has been tabbed by state officials as a partner in getting Trans-Pacific Travel back up and running. Now, the tests administered by CVS are supposed to be taken as well as results given within a 72-hour window before flying. But CVS's tests take two to four days and could take up to five to seven days during times of peak demand. With many labs facing a backlog as the country reports 40 to 50,000 positive tests per day, now is a time of peak demand across the U.S. Oahu residents Vicki and Doug Levinson are planning to see family on the mainland and have consistently been given a five to seven day estimate on a return of test results. My wife and I have both called CBS's. Times. We have doctor's offices, family members who've called their own doctors. They all say the same thing. Currently, CVS only allows residents to be tested for COVID-19 in the state they reside in, leaving Hawaii residents who want to travel out of state without a means to get a negative test before returning home. Governor David Ige is encouraging Hawaii residents to avoid traveling despite plans to reopen tourism. We are aware of that problem, but certainly uh, when I was asked and I've responded to everyone who uh, asked me, I suggested that people not travel. Uh, that especially if you're traveling for leisure reasons, tra travel at this point in time should be limited to essential business only. In a statement, CVS tells us that more details will become available as the state progresses towards its reopening date of August 1st. Until the details are ironed out, booking tickets will be put on hold for many local families fractured from their loved ones on the continent. I held my grandbaby when he was a newborn. Mm -hmm. last He's seven you. months old. Yeah, there's only so much Facebook or Zoom can do. Yeah, so. and I was supposed to go right before this. So we were we were supposed to go right before this hit. Yeah, so. the governor he doesn't want to call that essential. I, I, there. It's time history. you'll never get back. No one possible solution. Upon the announcement to open up Trans-Pacific travel without the quarantine, Lieutenant Governor Josh Green lobbied for residents flying back to Hawaii to get their tests upon return and quarantine until the results come back. Sam Spangler, KHON2 News, working for Hawaii.